Hello, everyone. Hello. Is this thing on? Hello. It's Conway time. Conway the machine. God don't make mistakes. New record out now. Booyah! 2020, I believe, was the last time we got a full length studio album from Conway the Machine, from King to a God. It was a good project, solid as a rock. So many great features. Production was murderous, it was kind of grand. And with this new record, Conway seems to be continuing that streak, seems to be continuing that momentum. From the jump with Lock Load, we get a really cumbersome beat. Uh, full of really runny wah guitar, some menacing strings and bass hits. Is a braggy cut full of careless charisma. An interesting Benny Siegel placement here. Uh, it is kind of an odd mix with the beat because he, he's so wispy. He just kind of raps like a little, he's like a little rappy rap. Look, it's one of the more by the numbers Conway tracks for sure. The second song on this record though, Tear Gas, by comparison, is so much more satisfying of a listen. Chipmunk soul to the nth degree. Big crit vibes in the way that the grandiose piano and the vocal samples kind of intertwine. Even the rather breezy singing kind of uh, hints at hints at the crit master. Uh, lyrically, there's a bit of a lone wolf mentality about this track. There are some lines about, you know, people praising him posthumously, pretending that they were his dude. Lil Wayne comes through and absolutely murders his feature. So many solid quotables here. Rick Ross does his thing, as you'd expect. The following track, Piano Love, features some very tritonal, tinkly keys and a very forward boom bap groove. Excellent, excellent verses here from Conway. Walks the pocket so effortlessly and inserts such vivid lyricism and descriptions. Sure, it's maybe one of the more standard Conway tracks, but that does not take away from the bars and the killer energy that this song is just filled to the brim with. On the more introspective side, we get songs like Wild Chapters, a really stiff beat featuring some very spectral vocal samples, airy keys that provide a backdrop to house some reminiscing lyrically, pained harmonies from uh, Novel, one of the features on the back end, ties the song up adequately. Guilty, while it is a shorter cut, it definitely packs a punch. Conway reflects further on his his head wound, goes into a bit more detail. More Kanye-esque chipmunk soul vocals pop up again. It is a watertight loop. And the song John Woo Flick is a Griselda Boys track. It's all three of them. Conway, Benny, uh, East Side Knife. They all do their thing over this kind of dripping, detuned guitar melody. Some squeaky effects. Molasses groove. Endless bars from the Griselda boys. Uh, <laughs> Benny makes me laugh with the line, enough shooters to embarrass the pistons. Conway has a knack of making single sentence hooks super memorable. It's very 80, the baby woke up. Oh, it's, just, it's, it's been stuck in my head like all day. Another introspective cut is the song Stressed, a really sultry synthesizer sample with a kind of new jazz neo-psych tinge. Dusty beats too. A kind of crying out for help sort of track. Mental turmoil despite being blessed. No one's paying attention to Conway's traumas, his depression, his stress, his anxieties because, well, He's successful. Surely that means that everything is okay, right? Sure. Chanel Pearls features a soulful chord progression and a fat bass line. Crisp beats too. Musically, it's fine. Jill Scott, the feature on this, and Conway both deliver verses about basically just having each other's backs as a as a couple or in their respective relationships. Keeping each other safe when others in your life are only curious about what's in your safe. <laughs> Babas! is easily the weirdest song on this record. Contains a really dizzy, warping synth organ and a super creeping groove. Aloof delivery from Keisha Plum, always a unique feature on these records. And Conway finds an interesting kind of pocket to sit in on this track to fill in. Lyrically, a little bit difficult to make heads or tails of, but I guess it seems to be just kind of an outlining of the goings on in in their city. Paintings of violence and debauchery and sex and drug benders. I was looking into it and bubbers can actually take on multiple meanings, but the main one that stuck out to me was promiscuous woman. Apparently it's New York slang considering some of the pornographic content of, of Keisha's verse. Uh, that's probably a likely interpretation. Let me know what you think. God Don't Make Mistakes, the title track, the closing track on this record is 
awesome as well. Feathery light piano noodling, some new age synth flourishes, and another pretty straightforward boom bap drum beat matches up against some really lucid storytelling from Conway about his life threatening injury, pondering what might have happened had that incident not occurred. As he mentions a lot on this record, it's given him Bell's palsy, which is kind of a unique look for him. And it certainly made him stand out against his peers as probably one of the more authentic rappers in the game too. And I think the flat line at the end is kind of Conway asking the audience to think about the possibility of what might have happened had he passed away in that hospital. And he were not here to make the impact on the hip hop landscape that he has. And that's the record. It is another robust entry into his catalog. Lyricism, flows, storytelling, production, it's all on the mark, it's all there. Happy with, with this one, really happy pleased. Probably going to be one of the more enjoyable hip-hop records this year. Uh, and because of that, I'm going to give it an 8.2 out of 10. Thank you, Blessed Conway, for delivering this beacon of rap music. <laughs> I think there's a pussycat in my room. Mooch. I love you, baby. And if it's quite alright, I need you, baby. Baby, and if it's quite, I need you, baby. I am not a guitarist. I do drum though. Maybe I'll make some drumming content. Anyway, uh, thank you everyone for watching and go home and pet your cats and tell them that I love them. Tell your friends that I make YouTube videos and then put them onto me. Get them on top of me. <laughs> we can make sweet love together and have sweet dreams together. Okay. So that is the end of this video now, and I'm gonna stop the recording right now, okay, everyone? Um, st stopping the recording. Like and subscribe, and don't forget to nudie your pets. Mwah.